Hey, welcome to Rome. Um, this is going to be a beautiful morning class. Arm balancing, back bends, twists, and a little more. Enjoy. Welcome to Rome. After I got chased away <laughs> from the Colosseum, I'm going to try my luck here. So let's come to the front of the mat. Just a little morning class. Stretch up. Exhale, come forward. Lift your chest. Left foot back. Push against the ground, belly in, and step back. Forward, and a little back. Let's just warm up the joints, shall we? And lower. Lift. Push back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Stay and breathe. And left foot back. Forward. Keep breathing. Find yourself at this time of day. Right foot. Step forward. Lift the chest. Exhaling. Lift up. Stretch up. Exhale, come forward, stretch forward, interlace your fingers, shoulder stretch. Breathe calm, belly to your spine. Hands down, lift the chest, right foot back. Stay here and breathe. Left foot back. Stay. Come onto your elbows. Breathe. Legs tight. Relax your neck. Keep breathing. Lower forward and push back into forearm plank. One more time. Lower and push and lower and push. Come back onto your hands. Chaturanga. Lift. And push back. Adhunga Svanasana. Breathe calm. Right foot forward. Lock the left knee. Left foot forward. Stretch your chest. Exhale. Lift up. Come up. And come forward. Interlace your fingers one more time. Stretch your shoulders, belly to your spine. Hands down. Lift the chest and jump back. Push back. And Right leg up. Open up. Touch your right hand. Right foot back to the front. Right leg up. Open up. Touch your forehead. Lift. One more time. Lift. Lower. Left leg up. Open up. Breathe. Touch your forehead. Lift. Touch. Lift. And lower. Good. Okay. Take a deep breath. Jump or step. Lift your chest. Exhale, lower down, sit low, stretch up, breathe calm, and twist. Look up, left shoulder back, 
breathe. Left. Make three, twist the other way. Right shoulder back. Left. Exhale. Interlace your fingers. Stretch forward. Relax your shoulders. And just breathe for a moment. Hands down. All right. We're going into Bhagasana. Why not, right? Bring your feet right behind your wrists. Grab the floor. Lift the kneecaps into your armpits. Bend your knee, elbow slightly if you need to. Straighten if you can. Lift the butt. Keep pointing the toes. And jump back. Lift. Push. On the Mukhasvanasana. Breathe. Inhale, jump forward. Lift the chest. Exhale, one more time. Stretch your arms and shoulders. Breathe. Let's do that again. So, feet right behind your wrists. <laughs> Bring your knees up. Belly in. Lift the toes. That's, that's Keep chest up. Breathe calm. And jump back. Chaturanga. Push back. Addu Mukhasvanasana. Right leg up. Open up. Touch your forehead. Lift. Let's bring the right leg to the left hand elbow. And balance here, if you can, straighten both legs. Lift the chest. And step back. Right leg up. Open up. Lower down your elbows. If you can, come into oh, forearms then. Breathe calm. Stretch up, spine up, relax your shoulders, activate your pectorals. Breathe. Switch the leg, so now your left leg is coming <coughs> overhead. And lower the right foot. Straighten the arms again. Now we're going to do the other thing, other side. So left knee to the right hand side elbow. Balance. If you can, straighten both legs. Lift the chest. And lift up. Back again. Into Pincha Mayurasana. So, just keep breathing. Now, these transitions and postures. It's the easiest to hold if you breathe. Just calm. And try to lower. Lift up. Push back. <laughs> I cannot hear you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right again. And for you, stretch up. Breathe. Lower. Lift. Chest up. Push back. Left leg. Warrior one. Breathe. Stretch up. Lower. Push back. Adam Kishwanasana. Good, okay. Let's see if we can go from tripod into Dwipada. So you're going to bring your knees down, head to the floor. Stretch the legs up. Calm. So it's like before, only now both legs. Right, so you're gonna move straight legs to the left side. <laughs> Keep breathing and lift. 
and lower again. <laughs> Bend the knees to lift the butt. And lower. <clears throat> Hands forward. Puppy. Breathe for a moment. All right, hands down, lift up, push back, add the Mukha Svanasana. <laughs> okay, let's do dry flat again, this time to the right side. It's hard for me to, I haven't, it's, just, it's a new way to do Dripada, but I think it's really fun, so let's just try again. Elbows in, 90 degree. Try to move both legs at the same time. To the right. Lift the chest. Ugh. Slippery. Okay, bend the knees to get back up. If you can, straight legs, of course. I'm not there yet. Straighten the legs. Breathe. Lower. Knees down. Come forward. And just breathe. <laughs> Life can be so different every day, right? Push back. Let's do a little bit um, moving through standing postures. Why you want to switch up and sit low. Breathe. Why too? Why three? Stretch to both ends. Right hand down, left arm up. Bring your left knee in. Curtsy is flat. Lift. And just bring the right hand to the outer side of your left foot. Hold. Bring your hand in front of your chest. If you can, don't hold. That's inner thigh workout, right? Lift back up. Stretch up. Standing splits. Pull down and lift. Hop back. And lower. Knees, chest and chin. Lift and push back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Left foot forward. Sorry. Sit up, sit low, breathe, calm. Warrior two, lengthen the spine, lock the knee. Warrior three, stretch. Left hand down. Breathe calm. Right arm up. Fancy squat. Lift. One more time. Curtsy squat and grab from the outside. Top of the foot. And then lift the chest. If you can, let go of the foot. Breathe calm. Uh, 
and lift back up to bend the knee first and then straighten it. Lengthen down and up at the same time. And step back. Knee, chest and chin. Lift. Push back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Okay. If you have a wand nearby, why don't you use the wand if you need it for a little bit balancing. Um, I don't need it, but I'm going to use it. Just more comfortable today. Push your hands down and lift one leg up. Lift the chest and keep pushing into the ground. Maybe you can come into a somewhat split position. And then switch the legs. Actually, it's harder for me with the board. But that's a reason to do it. Grab the floor. Keep breathing. Chest up. Lengthen the left leg over your head. Ooh. Stepped into the hole. Okay. <laughs> we'll do this again and standing. Keep breathing. So now without the wall. We just did it before in the pincha. So maybe we can do it on the hands, right? If not, you do in headstand or forearm stand. No problem. Right leg up. Just try. Lengthen. <laughs> and lower. <laughs> Balance is a mysterious thing. Okay, knees, chest, and chin. Lift, push back. Walk forward. Let's just stretch the wrists for a second. Stand onto your hands. Breathe calm and lengthen down. Lock the knees. Let your spine crack. Grab your toes into your wrists. We're almost through. Promise. One more time on the left side. So push the hands down. Grab the floor. Try and hop up. Or do um, elbow or head. Whichever is good for you. Lengthen the leg. The legs, I should say. Breathe. Ooh. Maybe you <laughs> hop over into a I didn't mean to, but why not? We can do a few drop backs. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh dear, I'm dripping. All right. Let's do that. That's fun. I thought of doing wheels in Colosseum. This is the form, but still we can do the wheels, right? So if you cannot do drop backs, just lay on your back. Go hands next to ears, okay? If you almost can do drop backs, you can also use the wall, right? To help yourself with the last bit. Okay, you stretch up. Arms up. Inhale, breathe up. Everything up, 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 and back. Lower. Beautiful. It would be the best if it's not actually dropping, but controlled, moving back. Let's do two more. Stretch up, inhale. Mm. Reach back as much as you can, and then just come onto your hands. You can come onto the tippy toes, walk the hands in a little bit. Push, like in handstand, and come back up. Yes, I'm moving my toes out. 
It's more comfortable. <laughs> you can do as you please. Uh, it's a little bit more stability, but technically we want to land to keep the feet straight, but you know, it's the morning. It's uh, nine o'clock. So. <laughs> One last, stretch up. Lengthen through the chest and then through your hands until you reach the floor. Push against the ground. Okay, let's do one leg. So bring the left foot into the center. Reach the right knee up to the chest. And lift the leg up. Oh, this must be far from straight. I'm not warmed up. <laughs> Lower down the right leg. It doesn't matter, right? We're just moving the body, compressing the spine. Lift the left knee to the left chest and lift the leg. Keep breathing, straighten if you can. All right, let's come back up. Wonderful. A little bit malasana after all that spine compression. We can move a little bit in. Oh, why not? A little internal rotation. So move your knees in. Breathe, come. Chest up. Sit straight. Let's stand on the hands one more time. So you're going to Bring your feet hip width apart, or a little bit more if you like, because we're gonna squat down after this. We're gonna keep the hands down underneath. So grab the toes into your wrists, lengthen. You might feel this after the back bend. And then belly in, sit, so your knees are in your armpits. And grab your toes into your wrists, Keep breathing. Keep the chest up. All right, good job. Very nice. Now stretch forward and try and reach as far forward as you can while you're squatting. So the heels should stay on the floor. If this is easy for you, bring your feet together. And do the same. Just lengthen the lower spine. Breathe calm. Maybe we do one more, one leg peacock. We haven't done forever. I want to stretch your hip one more time before. So bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Try and open the space in this left hip joint and stretch up. You can. I can turn even. Lengthen over. <laughs> Try not to lose the balance. Lengthen over the left knee. Breathe calm. Belly in. Keep breathing. Yeah. Space. Space in the lower spine. All right. And then bring the foot top of the thigh. And try to reach your chest to your leg. Right? But we're not going to do flying pigeon. It's just same stretch. Keep breathing. Relax the neck. Let's just do both sides. First, and then we do the both peacock sides. Right foot into the left inner thigh. Breathe calm. Ah, space. Pop the hips if you can. And lengthen. Breathe. Smile. It helps. Let in. All right, leg on the leg, <laughs> just on the leg. Keep breathing. 
I have some weird pain here, so don't look at me. Do your own thing. I'm a little tight to my knee. Keep breathing, chest forward. All right, so we're gonna start with the left one. You start in a will you marry me pose. So right knee's down, left knee forward. And you're just gonna bring the right hand down and the left foot goes up into, oh, I forgot, sorry. Left arm underneath, I haven't done this forever. Left hand is in the same line as the right knee, right? And then you're gonna grab the foot from the front with the free hand, that is my right hand. Push the elbow against the foot. Now hook the foot around your arm. Grab the floor and lift the chest. Now it's really easy from here because you're just you you're using the leverage of the leg. Just breathe. <laughs> Let's hold it for a moment, right? Keep the leg up. Keep the chest up. All right. Slowly move your right knee back. In. Oh, this is so nice. In the sunshine. We should use this half lotus. Sit down so the right heel is on the outside of your hip and the left foot should be on top of your thigh. Let's just do part of a jasana from here. Just because it's a good setup. Right hand down, palm is on the floor. Lift your chest up and turn. Until you grab your foot, maybe. Keep the chest up and twist, chest up and twist, chest up and twist. All right, let's do the other side. So now you're going to bring your right knee in front and the left knee down on the ground. Stand up, kneel like a knight, and then <laughs> bring your right arm. Underneath that right leg. The right hand is in the same line as your left knee. The left hand is free and grabs the top of the foot. Bring it all the way up. If you're having trouble here, it's because you are not leaning back enough. Push the elbow against the foot. Hook around the elbow. Grab the foot, belly in and lift. Again, this is easy. Just hold for a moment. Lift the leg, lift the chest. Just stay here. And breathe. 10 more seconds, you can do this. It's not so hard. It's just muscle strength. Even not so much. <laughs> okay, come back in. Let's use the setup like we did before. So the left heel is on the outside. The right foot comes on top of your left thigh. Now, I'm not sure if I can do this. Let's see. Gently. If you go gently, most times body complies. The palm is on the floor. Right arm around you. Lift up. Oh, grab the foot if you can. Lift up and twist. Again. Lift up and twist. Lift up and twist. Change. Very nice. Okay. Let's lengthen both legs. Shall we do a little, a tiny bit of core? We can do, right? We've done some arm balancing with core, but let's do leg core. <laughs> um, so bring your both legs into like a straddle position. So both hands towards your knee, right and left. Lift the chest. Maybe you don't straddle too, too far apart. It's, it's going to be harder. And lift the right leg. One, two, don't lean back. Three, four, five. Other side, just real quick. One, if you got a cramp, good. Two, three, four, five. And now let's do a straddle press. Oh. Cramps, not a list. <laughs> Loosening up. 
Oh dear, I must be weak. Grab the floor. Push the butt away from the floor. Lift the chest and stay for a moment. Keep breathing, lock the knees. And lower. Ooh. And bring your legs in. Here to here. Siddhasana. Lift the chest. Chest to your chin. Other heel. We're going to end soon, right? Just a little bit more. Lift the chest one more time. Chin to your chest. Vashimuddhanasana, your legs forward. Exhale, lift up. Exhale, lift up. Exhale. Lengthen through your breath, through the spine. Relax your shoulders. And lift. All right. I was just thinking, it's a posture I can't do really well, but why not? Let's just, um, let's just do it anyway. I never practice it, so. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, bring the left leg onto your right side. And then you're going to bring your right hand. So the thumb is touching the instep. You're going to grab with the last three fingers around your thumb. Put the index on top of your toes. You're going to do the same grip on the other side. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Lift the chest and pull the right leg to your right ear. So you want to pull the right elbow back and have the left shoulder underneath your chin, kind of. Change. <laughs> I should do this more often. It's disastrous. Anyways, other side. <laughs> we have to start somewhere, right? Yeah, this is going to be worse even. <laughs> My right side is tight. Okay, grab like this. No? The index on top, thumb on the instep. Same thing. Take a deep breath. Ready? Inhale. Lift to your ear. Pull all the way back as much as you can. Belly and chest up. All right, relax. Good. We could do one more spine twist. You can do one in half lotus or in lotus. I feel like doing a spine twist in lotus. If I can do lotus, let's see. Yeah, it's okay. Good, okay, so half lotus or lotus. Whichever it is, bring your hand again, palm down underneath your knee, right arm around, grab the foot. If you're doing half lotus, right foot should be on top, lift the chest, and twist back. Inhale, chest up, twist back, chest up, twist back. One more time, chest up, twist back. Other side. Oh, we could do fish after this, huh? Right hand down, lift the chest. Lift up and twist. Lift up and twist. Again, lift up and twist. Now, if you can't do lotus, you can just straighten your legs long. No problem. If you're doing lotus, we're just going to back bend. Okay? Lay down. And then grab your, push your hands against the floor next to your ears. Touch the top of your head. One more time. Walk your hands in. Lift the chest. Come a little closer to your butt. Grab the big toes. Pull the elbows down. Keep 
keep pulling your elbows to the floor, lift the chest. Knees down. Just look between your eyebrows. Okay, hands next to your ears. And bring the chin back in. All right, let's do a shoulder stand. And finish. Ready? Loosen your legs. Legs over your head. Walk your shoulders in. Push against the floor. Lift the legs up. Wait calm. Lengthen through your spine. Bring your arms next to your head. <coughs> next to your thighs. Pushing the shoulders down. <laughs> and lower your legs. Ooh, that was a weird insect. Okay, push, maybe a spider. Push your heels away. Knees locked if you can. Just make sure you're stretching the upper part of your shoulders. You really want to get the whole spine and back here. And then lengthen the knees down to the ground out of your ears or <laughs> touch your knees to your ears or grab your heels. And then lower back down. Let's circle. Just tiny circles on the sacrum. Clockwise and anti clockwise. One more time. Tiny crunch. Lift your hands up. Try to touch the outsides of your feet. Keep breathing. Push down until you lift up as high as you can. Try to keep the legs 90 degree. Breathe, calm, belly down. No stress in your neck. Just stay, stay a little. And right leg down. Keep your hands right and left from your left foot. Keep lifting. Change the legs. Left leg down. Keep breathing. Stay. Breathe calm. Lift and lower. Okay, so just bring your knees in and relax. So, I hope you had a good class. I'm going to stop this now because apparently it doesn't matter. <laughs> I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you. And push. Adho Mukha Shunasana. Breathe. Left leg, come forward. Yeah. Get far. 
mare? Non posso. No? no. Ok.